Shane, Saturday we'll see our FA Cup run begin at home to Watford. How have the preparations been for the upcoming game? Yeah, it's been good. You know, I'm, I'm sure the gaffer is going to give a few of the guys in the fringes of the team uh, a chance to show what they've got. And I could be one of them guys, hopefully. So, um, you know, I've been waiting patiently on the sidelines, just uh, prove a point, try and get on the pitch, get some minutes under my belt and, and push for that starting position in, in the first 11. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the game. It's going to be tough against Watford. Always is. But, uh, you know, FA Cups are always uh, a good team to go, to go far in. Throughout your career, Shane, you've made 41 appearances in the FA Cup. Um, How many? Many of them will stand out in the memory, but I'll cast your mind back almost 13 years ago to the day where the Royals had a third round replay at Anfield. Can you tell us your memories of that game? Yeah, I can remember Brendan Rodgers came in and um, I didn't play much that season either. Uh, I kind of fell off the background and then Brian McDermott took, took over, took me aside and said he's going to gonna, um, try and get me back, back into the team. and. Uh, Brought me off the bench that game. Uh, I think I won a penalty near the end. Slight dive, but uh, Gilfie stuck it in nicely. Brought us extra time, and then Brynjolf Gunnarsson turned into Messi on the right wing. Megs and players and crossed it in, and yeah, scored the winner. So um, that kind of just kind of got me back into my stride that season and finished the season really well. And then went on to we ended up losing the playoff final, but had a, had a great season after that. So it was um, yeah, it was probably the the starting point of my career under Brian McDermott and you know got, got me really going that season. I'll also jog your memory as well. Uh, quarter final against Aston Villa, a game which we did lose but you scored two two goals. Surely a case of more of the same on Saturday but obviously a different outcome hopefully. Hopefully yeah hopefully. I remember John Carew came on there and dominated the, the second half but uh, it's mad I scored two goals that game but I remember I, I missed a header at the back post to make it 3-3 so that would have been nice but um, you know it is nice to go far in these competitions. We've, we've got a slim squad, um, but we've got a lot of uh, quality there as well. So if we, if we can get the league run going and have a good cup run in the back of that, it could be could be a good season for, for Reading. Just as you mentioned there, obviously gives possibly a chance for the team to focus on something other than the league. Um, sort of with one of other eyes on other teams in the league table, it just allows the guys to fully focus on the task at hand, really. Yeah, yeah, definitely. As I said, there's a few players come back from injury as well. There's, you know, Scotty Dan got 90 minutes the other day, but you've got Liam Moore, you've got Hutch, you've got myself and Lucas that haven't haven't played in over the Christmas, and um, you know we're we're eager to show what we've got, and it's a great opportunity for us to do that. With the league defeat uh, back in November against Watford, possibly lessons learnt from that result, we'll have a real motivation to get a successful result this time around, won't we? Yeah, I think I think we've motivated for, for every game. You know, um, as I said, Watford are a good side; they've got uh, plenty of strength and depth, and. You know, you can you can tell by the players that have in their squad that they're uh, they're a threat. So uh, we're going to be have to be in the top for a game, but you know they have, they have to come to our ground and uh, we have to, to bring the game to them and, and let's hope for a good result and, and hopefully I'm on the the right the right end of it.